It's early morning, the sun comes out. Last night's dinner was lousy cause it was takeout. My belly is hungry and growling's a sin. So what is wrong with takeout again? My family is hungry, they need to tell. So give them food and feed them well. The days to come, the same places to go. I gotta get started, it's time for my show. Here I am, teaching you how to cook again. Here I am. Teaching you how to cook again. My family's hangry, they start to shout. Desire's coming, it breaks out loud. Dinner's in packages till I break it loose. Just have to make it with some food I choose. Dinner is calling, I have to go. The family's hungry, they run this show. They're licking their lips, they're ready to eat. We'll hunt tonight cause dinner's at six. Here I am, teaching you how to cook again. Here I am, teaching you how to cook again. Here I am, teaching you how to cook again. Teaching you! How to cook again! It's Jackie from Otherwise. Welcome to my channel where we cook and jam. Or cook with jam. Either way. Welcome. Hey everybody, it's Jackie from Otherwise and welcome to my channel. And today we're going to make shrimp scampi with pasta. So the first thing I'm going to go over the ingredients list, but first, I'm going to go ahead and start my water. I've already got my water in my pot on the stove, and I'm going to cover it with a lid because it will boil faster that way, and I'm going to add like a tablespoon or so of salt. ingredients list we have a half of a stick of butter four tablespoons actually I added one more tablespoon because I'm gonna eat with pasta and I want it to be extra buttery um, you can use one green onion the whole of the onion or I'm gonna use this I'm gonna use half of this this onion garlic powder parsley, black pepper, and white wine. You only need a little bit, so that's all I've got. Okay, so, oh, I forgot the most important thing. Shrimp. And so I've already defrosted these in some water, and this is 12 ounces. You can use up to 16 ounces. Um, if you're feeding more people, it's just me and my son. So we just have 12 ounces. And these are peel and eat shrimp. So we've got to peel them. So I'm going to drain the water and then we'll get to peeling. I'm also going to use my large pan um, for the pasta and shrimp. I'm going to make the sauce in this. But at the end, I'm going to put the, the pasta in to toss it to, to coat it with the, with the sauce. Okay, so to peel your shrimp, it's got a little, um, it's cut in the back. So grab it by the legs, right here at the front, and pull. And then pinch at the tail. And that peels your shrimp. Also, it's much better to peel them now because we're having them in pasta. And with the seasonings with the scampi sauce I just feel like and, and I've done it both ways but I feel like that the shell takes up a lot of the um, sauce 
and then you have to throw that away. It's got little onions in it and parsley and all that stuff and it's just better. It's just better to have it ready to go. Grab it by the, the legs. Sometimes they're torn. You have to peel them a little bit differently, but the back is always cut. You have to check and make sure that they've gotten all of the, the vein there. Because you don't want to eat that. That's the bad part. I'm going to wash this one. So, if you go to a seafood place and you have like a pasta scampi dish, you're only going to have, I don't know, eight maybe shrimp and so that's really all you need for one serving now you'll need sides but we tend to like to eat more shrimp than that so when you make things at home you can have more when you eat at home, your food is going to taste better. Um, your food is going to cost less. And there's not going to be any chemicals or less chemicals in it than if you were to buy it from a restaurant, generally speaking. Some restaurants are really good. Okay, I think that's it. I'm going to drain the rest of the water out. And I'm just going to rinse them one more time. And feel around to make sure I've got all the shells off. So I'm going to take my shrimp and I'm going to lay them out on some paper towels. Okay, take another paper towel, lay it on the top. And I'm just going to set these aside. So what I want to do is not cut I'm gonna just use half of this small onion so I'm not gonna cut the the root I'm gonna cut up to it and I'm gonna use the biggest side of the small onion because I like onion and we used some um, green onion last time and my son said it wasn't as good as regular onion so now also with the um, shrimp shells you can make a fish stock with that instead of just throwing it away. But I'm going to mince this onion. So it's going to be very tiny slices, very thin slices.
So there's our onion, and we're ready to make our sauce. There's no one like you. I can't wait for the times with you. I imagine the things we do. I just want to be loved by you. So like, subscribe, and ring my I'm ready to start the sauce, so I'm going to go ahead and make my spaghetti, and I always break it in half. So I'm going to add my butter. I need a teaspoon of garlic powder and you don't want to overdo it on the garlic so measure that a half a teaspoon of parsley flakes or however many you want I'm gonna put a little more and a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, and I'm going to stir this together. And then I'm going to add my shrimp. Now you want to spread them around so they can all get done on one side so you can flip them over. And make sure that you stir up your pasta because you don't want it to stick together. over. They're only supposed to cook a couple minutes. So I'm just going to turn it down to like two. It just needs a quick cook on this side. And some of them it looks like don't even need to be cooked. But the longer you leave your shrimp in the pan, the smaller they'll be. So just make sure that they're done and then take them out. So we're just going to add about two tablespoons of white wine. And I'm about out of my bottle, so I'm just going to put it all in there. And all the alcohol is going to cook out of this, so you don't have to worry about serving your family alcohol. I turned my temperature back up just a little bit. I want everything coated in the sauce. So I'm back up to five on my temperature. Which 
check my pasta one more time. So my pasta is done and I'm going to drain it. Then I'm going to add it to the shrimp. Then we're going to toss it. Just a little bit more parsley. You see how much better that looks? Okay, so it's all done. So this is our finished dish. So here's our finished dish. And let's give it a taste. So the shrimp are good, they're not too hard, which is what would happen if you overcooked them. Um, the pasta is just right. I like mine al dente, which means to the tooth. Um, it's got a nice flavor with the butter and the, the wine, um, the, even the garlic powder is not overpowering, but adds to the flavor. and. Really, a fresh herb would be much better than the dried parsley, but the dried parsley is fine. Um, but this is, like I said, one of our favorites, and I hope that you'll try it, and hope I'm sure that you'll like it. And remember, dinner's at 6.